Hi Dreamers, welcome back. I had so much fun and I was so successful with my Finish 5 by Fall Project Pan that I actually decided to do another one without waiting six months. So I am jumping into the Finish 13 by Halloween and I have the 13 products here that I'm going to try to use up and I will just start going through them with you one by one. So the first thing that I'm going to try to use up is my Maybelline Fit and Poreless. I have this in 125 Nude Beige. The reason I wanna go ahead and try to finish this up is not because I don't like it, but because this foundation has been in my collection for the longest, and so I think that it's time to use it and move on. The next thing is the Clinique Even Better Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. I'm not really crazy about this. I don't think that it really does anything for my dark circles, but I do want to give it like another fair shake and see if it does anything now that I think that I'm on the correct doses of all my medication and that might have been the issue. I've held this up to the light and you can't see through it at all to see how much is in there, so I have no idea. Same thing with the Fit Me Poreless. I cannot, I've kind of tried to peel, peer down in there. I have really no idea where I'm starting, so when I run out, I run out. Then I have two sample size mascaras. I have the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and I have the Laura Geller Glam Lash. I think these are the last two sample size mascaras that I have in my collection, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to use those and move them out because I know I will probably be getting some more later on in the year. Then I have three primers. They're all sample size. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the uh, Pore Minimizing. I love this one. I am planning on buying a full size. And then the Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. I like this one, but I like the Smashbox better. So I'm gonna try to finish that up. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm not really crazy about this, but I remember thinking, I've had one sample of this before, and I remember thinking when I finished it, you know, why, why was I not so crazy about it? So I'm gonna go through this one and see if I can really remember sort of what my opinions were. And then that will be all of the primer samples that I have getting them out of my collection. Then I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the um, clear brow gel. I usually don't use a brow gel and this is a little sample size, but I've had it for a long time and I really wanna give brow gel a fair shake. My eyebrows generally don't really move, so I don't need it, but I have gone lately to using just powder on my eyebrows and so this may help keep it in place. So I want to give that really a fair shake before I decide whether brow gel is something that I need or I don't need in my routine. So how many is that so far? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So we're getting there. Um, I also have a Makeup Forever um, HD powder. And again, it's really kind of hard to mark, but there's not really a ton in there left. So I'm going to see if I can't go ahead and clear that out of my collection. I really do like it, but I think that I have a lot of drugstore powders that do kind of the exact same thing. Um, and so I'm gonna to continue to use those drugstore ones like the Milani Prep and Set, I really like that. Um, and there was another one I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'm probably not gonna spend $24 for another one of those. Then I have a nail polish. This is another little squatty thing. This came in the New Orleans set, you know when you get the small with the four little mini ones. Um, and I'm not, I can't remember what this color name is but I will look it up and link it down below because it doesn't have the color names printed on here. This is a really pretty blue, comer, blue color, can I English today? Um, and so I wanna try to use this up. I will probably try to use this up before summer is out, but I think it'll be a great color for the end of summer, beginning of fall. Then I have in my e.l.f. contour palette, <coughs> I'm not going to try to <coughs> Then in my e.l.f. contour palette, I'm not gonna try to pan this whole thing. Um, what I would like to do is I would like to pan this bronzer color because I've already hit a little bit of pan in there. So that's my goal for the Finish 13 by Halloween is to finish off that pan. If I hit pan in another one of that, that would be fantastic. 
Then I have a little sample lipstick. This is Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang in the Lamarck lipsticks. I have never put a lip product in a project pan because I'm always scared. I don't wear lipstick a lot of the time. When I'm at work, I'm constantly drinking out of water bottles, out of pop cans. I'm constantly snacking because I'm hungry like every five minutes. And so even if I have liquid lipstick on, it's just, it's just disastrous. But I think if I pick something small like this that seems a lot more achievable to me, maybe it will get me back in the habit of putting lipstick on. And I really do like this color. I think that it is just really, really great for this time of year, it will be great for the end of summer and going into fall. So I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to finish a miniature lip product in a project pan. For my 13th and final product, I have a, uh, this is not a roller ball, but it's the roller ball size of perfume. This is actually a spray. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I do really like this. If I remember correctly, I haven't used this in a while, so I want to use it again because the whole reason I purchased this one was to see if I wanted to buy the full size because I think the bottle is super cute and that is not a reason to spend a whole lot of money on a perfume. So those are the 13 products that I hope to finish up by Halloween. I will probably do at least one update between now and Halloween, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up because that will give me a little bit of encouragement to actually try to finish off all 13 of these products. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.